There's nothing left in that case. That's it. It has totally been disassembled except for the servo at the side here. Which we will take these three bolts out. And there's a servo in there that we want to remove. Okay, I've taken the uh, three bolts out of the servo cover. That's the cover. It's got no ring on it. Now there's the servo in here. You just push on it where the band is. That'll come out. There's a ceiling ring and a large spring here. That's it for the case totally. Next we have the pump. We'll go ahead and tear it apart. We do have a gasket that seals in the uh, case right here. There's also a large O-ring. Five bolts. If you can see or not, they have five lines in the heads of them. This is basically your pump stator. It's got two ceiling rings here, thrust washer. You want to inspect in here for gouges. This is the pump body. This is where your gears are. You want to pull your gears out and inspect them. Pump body, we want to look in here for gouging, scoring, anything like that. Minor scoring is okay. Any kind of large scoring is not. Next is the drum or drum. Large snap ring you want to take out here. This is sun gear. And this here in the clutch hub. This will be replaced with a high performance piece. We've gone ahead and pulled the clutch pack out. Uh, we've installed the tool. We're shaking the snap ring off with the snap ring pliers. Now we're just going to back that tool off. You have your spring retainer with the snap ring. We have our springs for the clip for the piston. And our piston itself. We have an over or um, a lip seal here and a lip seal inside the drum in here. You want to inspect this? There's a bushing in here. You want to inspect. You want to look in here also. This is where the pump stator rides in, where the two rings are. One thing left is the valve body. Now, in a street strip application, um, just a manual valve body. You can get kits. You can do yourself. If it comes to a transmission uh, brake. Um, you can purchase them from um, a transmission company as a TCI or ATI, someone like that. Um, and uh, they're a special valve body that you need for drag racing only. Bolts of the valve body, splitting it apart. Um, if you are going to get a, a manual uh, shift kit for it, you need to go ahead. The instructions in the shift kit will tell you exactly how to do it. Uh, you want to clean the old gaskets off, get everything cleaned up. 
That's about the total assembly of the um, of the power line. Uh, we're going to show you in a moment the difference between a uh, 176 ratio and a 182 ratio gear set. There are some differences between the two gear sets. This is a 182 gear set here. This is a 176 gear set here. As you can see by the gear sets, this one is much stronger than this one is. And just by looking at it, you can tell. Also, uh, the input shafts are different. Uh, the 176 input shaft is uh, 12 um, and 7 eighths. Uh, the 182 is 12 and 5 eighths. Also, the size of the sun gear on the 182. Uh, the 182 is actually uh, 1 and 5 eighths, as you can see, the difference. And um, the 176 sun gear is 1 and 13 sixteenths. You can see the different size. So there are differences to the gear sets. You can't interchange one to the other. Okay, uh, that wraps it up for today. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, transmission cleaned up. Um, get it out on the bench. We're going to do a lot of updates to it. Uh, we're going to go through that uh, with you. Um, we've got some uh, work to do in the case. Um, a lot of work to do uh, with the internal parts itself. Um, so we'll get that uh, in the works and as for today we're pretty well done. Uh, you can get uh, these videos on YouTube or also on my website. Um, and if you have any questions uh, there's an email address on the